Hello, I'm Paul Ludlow. Almost exactly two years ago, our world changed. Now, two years on, in a week's time, our full p and Cruises fleet will have returned to service. As a corporation across our brands, we ended 2021 with 50 ships sailing and we returned over 65,000 crew members to our ships. We also took over 1 million guests on cruises, certainly something to celebrate. I couldn't be more proud of our crew on board our ships and our incredible teams ashore who have worked so tirelessly with dedication, commitment and energy as we've navigated the twists and turns of the past two years. And of course, a huge thank you to our travel agent partners for their continued support throughout this period. I stand here today only because of the efforts of each and every one of these people have made in returning all of our ships to service. Now the newspapers are full of inspiring travel ideas. Lots of television ads are for holiday companies. And whilst we have taken many thousands of you away on holiday, both abroad and here in the UK, and developed a new appreciation for our own coastline, many more of you have cruise holidays booked for this summer and beyond. This is all testament to many things, not at least your loyalty, patience, understanding, and determination to travel once more and to stay with us. And for that, I cannot thank you enough. The past few weeks have seen much positive news from various countries and governments regarding entry requirements. We keep a close eye on these and our policies and protocols for travel are under constant review in line with destination requirements and we hope to see these gradually lift. Our aim is always to protect your health and well-being and maintain the highest standards on board so you can simply relax and enjoy your holiday. I am delighted all of our crew have fully vaccinated and whilst elements of our protocols will gradually lift, our vaccine policy will still be in place and you are required to be fully vaccinated. Our website always has the latest requirements for travel, so please do keep an eye on it as you plan and before your departure. Britannia and Azura have had a very successful season in the warm waters of the Caribbean. So many of you have rediscovered the joy of this wonderful region. I was there just before Christmas to visit Britannia. I would encourage you all, if you haven't been before, to try a Caribbean cruise holiday. The different culture and vibe of each island is truly wonderful and the restorative powers of winter sunshine cannot be underestimated. As we go into the summer months, Britannia will be sailing Mediterranean itineraries with all of our favourite ports of call and Azura's fly cruises to the Greek islands and the Med are proving very popular. All of these itineraries have many new shore experience options, from thrilling activities that get your adrenaline going to more relaxing, cool beach clubs. Iona has been sailing in Northern Europe and the Canaries, and despite a few necessary itinerary changes, has received really positive feedback. I can see you appreciate the space and choice and the new restaurants, and Iona will really shine as she begins her maiden season in the spectacular, scenic Norwegian fjords. Ventura's longer itineraries this summer are also interspersed with a few short breaks. We've seen a real increase in popularity for these as a quick getaway and change of scene, and there's no better city than Amsterdam for an easy long weekend of shopping and great food and all walkable along the canals. Aurora has had her refit and is looking very spruced up as she returns to service. Aurora and Arcadia really are so loved and their captains and crew are so pleased to begin their awe-inspiring itineraries we have planned for this year. A scenic highlight for me would certainly be the Iceland and North Cape cruise. Those clear night skies are just incredible. And of course, Arvia, whose keel laying ceremony was last month, and now the mega blocks will be joined together and the ship will take shape and soon be ready for outfitting. And that's where the fun starts, as we start to see the new dining and entertainment, planning the menus and tasting, and finalising those tiny details and design features. Personally, I can't wait to see our new plant-based restaurant and sushi bar, and of course, the Mission Control escape room and altitude high ropes, which will be a surefire hit with families. There really is so much to look forward to as we move from spring into summer, and where holidays are concerned, anticipation is everything. I can't wait to see you on board.